So I was looking through one of my humidors, this, uh, this little one here, and I found the Guantanamo Era Purito, and I also believe I fixed my autofocus issues. It may look a little bit dimmer, but this is a sacrifice we're all going to have to make. So, um, yeah, this is one of these scars I bought. I was looking for scars around the between the one and three pound range. Cigarillos, I like to have one of those, at the time I like to have one of those daily, plus maybe a big scar, maybe once a week, maybe twice a week. At most, maybe once every two weeks actually. Um, yeah, this is one of the ones that ended up in that. I meant to review it, but I never got around to it. So I've had a couple of these sitting in there, and uh, it's about time I started to actually review one. So, third time doing this intro for this video, because uh, the all focus kept not agreeing. So this is um, sort of what I would describe as very generic cigar, it's nothing too special about it. It smells um, Cuban, it's <laughs> the best description I got for it. There we could go, up close you can see it all focus pretty well. It also looks a bit smoother to me the camera. Uh, so we're going to first peel off the band because I'm not going to smoke to that. I'm also not going to try to pull it off normally because I, I don't trust this scar not to rip. And we can only pray the autofocus works to some extent. There we go. So what do we have here? Standard feeling plug. See this um this looks a bit unusual. Personally. <clears throat> Sad thing is I have to block on my face to show you anything. It just looks like the plug has just been sort of like a, I don't know, bent at a crooked angle, but it feels pretty solid right there. So I imagine that's just the way the tobacco was rolled. It's uh, wide enough open, I don't think you'd ever have to cut that and just sort of straight out of the pack cigar. I bought these singly, three of these singly. It smells like very nice light sweet Cuban cigar, as you would expect. Foot looks okay. Backwards in there look not really that mixed, they actually look fairly consistently uh, not very light brown to fill a tobacco, you know, it's kind of like a, a medium-ish brown. But as you can see, it's uh, pretty consistent. There's a few little anomalies there, but what are you going to do? Very smooth wrapper. It's not a very good wrapper. <coughs> I would say that. Um, it's trying to focus, but um, you know we can only give it credit for trying. Just move it close. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if it's going to focus. There we go. As you can see, veiny. Not a. Uh, it's no K seal, I guess, but there's a lot of creases in there as well. A uh, couple little spots there. Nothing to worry about. Uh, it's an okay size, so a nice little cigarillo, I would say. Uh, I've got a matches here. As I said, very sweet. That's a, that's an okay draw. Something pretty light at the back of the palate, kind of nutty, I guess. I need to get better matches than those, probably, um, like, uh, long reach matches, like, um, these safety matches I use tend to, uh, get quite close to your fingers, almost burning them, and also, uh, sometimes I've had them, they'll let almost up to my finger, so I put it down, and they've stuck to my finger, and it just doesn't work out. Okay, let's see what we could uh, get off this straight off the bat, just after the light. Love the low on the intake, pretty light. I would say a tiny bit of spice to the tongue, but uh, that might be due to possible overheating, but I don't really think so. The light probably wasn't the best, it looks pretty uneven, but I'm not quite sure about the light. It looked okay at first, 
So you never know. Doesn't actually taste like too much special with some. Um, tastes a bit more generic than you would like your uh, assumed Cubans to be. The way this uh, cigar was advertised, I don't believe on cigars. I bought these from cigars, but I was going to buy them before from the backy shop that could UK. Until they ran out of stock, so my favourite minis, the Neo's Cappuccino. I've been meaning to buy this forever, and then they ran out of stock the one time I was actually you know, saying I'm going to buy these in the next week. And um, there it sort of advertises it as like a budget taste of Cuban tobacco. And I would assume the closest I can compare this to would be a Monte Cristo Purito, which is, you know, an actual Cuban Purito size cigar. And to be honest, it actually is about the same size. Doesn't feel or look like it's got the same quality though. Taste wise, well, we're going to get onto that. Let's just make sure that this is a uh, pretty even. That's burning it. Uh, okay, now so we're just gonna make sure to see if it's the scar. If it's just a bad light to begin with. Tastes actually tastes a bit like generic Dutch tobaccos. I would not quote this as. It, it actually. Um, I would probably say it's more like the wrapper might be Cuban. I was definitely smelling that, but as of it right now, it's probably quite basic shortcuts of Cubans at most. I wouldn't really say this is anything special. You wouldn't really differentiate it from a generic cigar, to be honest. Because of the price and um, everything, it's a little bit of a letdown. I would probably rate it about the same place as a La Paz Wild Cigar. I love those things. I've still got a pack over there, I think. It costs about the same, but to be honest, those cigars will last longer. They taste maybe a bit better, but this is kind of similar tobacco to that. It's kind of general, generic European tobacco, maybe mixed in with a little bit of Cuban, but I can't really... Uh, it's something too special about it. A um, bit of a letdown as it's supposed to be a taste of Cuba. I think if you have one of these, you probably think... I'm not gonna pay, you know, buy Monte Cristo when I go get a Henry Winterman's half Corona. That's probably what this is gonna lead you to think. I'd have to admit though, it's pretty um, light. A little bit of sweetness in there. That definitely uh, deep fried the inside of my nose when I just put it out there. Always on the retro hill, always on the retro hill. I hope you can't hear the uh, absolutely annoying woman next door with her dog that just does not shut up. All night, all, all day. If you hear it in this video, just know I have to put up with it all the time, so consider yourself lucky. I still feel as if I'm a little bit off center. Let me just move this over here. So this cigar, nothing special at all. See, uh, that's kind of like a light. I wouldn't really say nothing, no. It's a little bit of a smooth cream, actually. That's kind of what I'm getting from this at the back of the back of the throat. Well, more like palate. This definitely seems more of an aftertaste cigar, it's like you are taking in nothing, but after it there's a little bit of a metal taste. It seems to be burning quite even, which is uh, pretty nice at least. At least that, you know, proves it's actually doing some, you know, something okay. I hope you also uh, don't mind the new lighting setup because um, 
it's darker, but there's um, more light. If you want to see what I mean, this is a feature on my webcam. When I turn this on, everything looks like this. And it's, as you see, it moves kind of slow. If you look at my fingers, you'll kind of see they just kind of wave about. Um, but with this, the video is much smoother, but it is, albeit, a little bit darker. So I turned on that extra light. Through some bizarre method, I managed to get a hold of my Facebook page again. So if you have liked the Scarhub Facebook page, I did mention earlier because of vegans, I couldn't actually post anything on it. But a bit of a workaround with that. If you get the business manager thing, then, well, if you are banned on Facebook and you can't send requests to anyone, so you can't request for a second account or someone else to become an admin of your page so they can post for you, then you could actually set up business manager for a second Facebook account and then use that to request access to your page and even if you're banned you can still approve that access so uh, then you can use your other account to post or get someone else to do it which maybe may or may not be the case <laughs> last year is looking okay actually so if you like the Scarhub Facebook page I'll still be posting updates for the next month on there Pretty much indefinitely. Gone a little bit off there. As for the general intake, I mean it's uh, not exactly cool. You get a little bit of a little bit on the tip of your tongue. It's probably a bit more towards the medium, but it's quite um, it's very uh, smooth and silky intake, I guess. Yeah, that's pretty, yeah. I would say that's generally smooth. I mean, it is, um, I would describe it as beyond budget Cuban. <laughs> like, um, if you're looking for a budget Cuban, look elsewhere. Monte Cristo Purios, for example, are a similar price to this. I think there might be a little bit less. I think they work out to about £1.60 or something each, and they are superior to this. These are £1.89, and that is what I'm about to get on to show you. So, if we go here. 19 reviews, 4 or 5 stars, so we're not talking about something absolutely terrible here, but, you know, I've got my own opinions on this not being the best for a Cuban sampler scar. £1.89 for a single one. The range comprises of light strength machine made cigars using short filler tobacco from the lesser Vuelta Arriba, which is a region in Cuba. Uh, pre cut heads, scar cuts not required. Yep. Uh, ring gauge 29, about right. Length four and a quarter inches, at uh, four and an eighth of inch. My bad. All the reviews seem to be saying about the same things. There seems to be a big variation in reviews. For example, four or five stars, but it's not. They're all four or five stars. It's a lot of five stars, a couple four stars, and a lot of three stars mainly. I believe there's also a few lower than that. Uh, this guy's just referencing um, straight up full size cigars, so uh, that's not really a fair comparison. So, £1.89 for the cigar, I would probably not recommend it personally. I mean, it's to some extent okay. I mean, these come in five packs, by the way, £9.39, which works out to about the same. But there's just nothing astounding about it. It's one pound eighty nine for a more generic budget Purito. As a Purito itself, it's definitely towards the budget when you could get a proper, decent Cuban Purito well made. Which is, uh, I just start to bring up this as an example Monte Cristo. These Puritos are cheaper. Um, I'm not sure if you could buy these singly, but in a pack of five, it's around, I don't even know. Lack of preparedness always welcomed in this stream. Seven pounds for five. I mean, well, seven pounds nine p. 
that works out to be one pound forty one each. So that's um, that's a very good price for scars. The same size as this, but much more well made. Go watch my review on that. I had nothing but a lot of positive things to say about that scar. They are my. Um, I do actually carry a pack of these in uh, my jacket pocket usually. Usually, you know, like God, whatever, just in case you you never know when you're gonna need a Purio. That about sums up every scar I ever carry. You never know. Taste wise. Looking for something a little bit heated right now where it's feeling a little bit on the a little bit of spice in there somewhere. Uh, it did mention the filler tobacco, but I am questionable of what the wrapper is made out of. Also the binder probably. And the reason I'm saying that is because while something in there is keeping the filler it says the filler is Cuban. I feel as if there is Cuban in there, but the smoke I'm getting really is not. So it's really something else. So I'm wondering what the wrapper and binder are. Either that or it's just, you know, um, very low grade tobacco. I did get a little bit of a taste of the Monte Cristo Purio there. It did actually taste a bit like one right there. A little bit heated though. Uh, it burns evened out pretty well. Let's just see with our new focusing abilities if we could uh, possibly get a focus on that. I was thinking for some extent we'd fix the auto focus issue. There we go. If it stays in focus, you'll see it's doing okay. I don't know, definitely, um, I love the Guantanamo Purios to the extent that they're, I meant to say Monte Cristo Purios and then tried to fix it, but no, that's never going to work. I like Monte Cristo Purios, all of them, and these are second rate for, you know, like 25% more. It seems to be holding itself up pretty well, that plug is um, staying together quite well, no bits in the mouth yet. From a live stream chat, apparently this is 100% Cuban and the wrapper and binder are grown in different parts to the filler. Although the filler is grown in some um, abscess region of Cuba, not the usual Habanos type. It is looking pretty well lit though, and by well lit I don't mean like decked out for going at very. Why do I keep seeing pottering with an E? I'm, I'm, I'm just going to give up with that. Yep, in general all pretty soft right now, but uh, the plug's really pretty firm actually, so that's not something I don't think you're ever going to have to worry about. I mean, if you saw the uh, size of the plug, You'll know that um, my autofocus generally doesn't work anyway. So uh, when we say we found a solution, why is it focusing behind me? There's nothing for it to focus on. It might be my microphone, who knows. But uh, we'll just have to go with that. As you can see, it's rather small, the uh, pre-cut. So you never really know what you're going to get. So you might want to have to cut that a little bit bigger. Never had that problem with the Monte Cristo Purios. They seem a little bit bigger. I don't know. I just um, I think it's getting to me a bit. Though. This is supposed to be a good budget uh, supplement for a proper Cuban scar, but it really isn't up to par. And you could get something that actually is much cheaper. I probably would try 
if I was going to pick something myself that I haven't tried before, I would still probably go with something like the Monty Clubs or the Cahiba Clubs over these. I believe um, these aren't too far priced off the Cohiba Clubs, which might be a good option to try. Let's see what sort of taste we're getting off this. You need to remember again that I do smoke these considerably fast rate, just get reviews over and done with. Uh, so you never know. That tends to add a bit of spice though. Or false spice. <clears throat> Yeah, that's definitely not overburnt. That's definitely more towards the uh, spicy side. Definitely a little bit of spice in there. It tastes like, as you would expect, getting to the very end of a Cuban scar, but it tastes more like getting to the end of a mini scar. It's got that kind of spice. I would say, like, getting to the end of a cafe creme is about the same as this. It's, um, but it doesn't taste like very good Cuban tobacco. I'm still talking with the idea of getting Monte Cristo number fours because I want to get a box of 10 of those because there is just enough room to fit 10 in there. So, uh, yeah, well, I mean, in the top shelf, and I'm probably going to find some random stuff to fill up the rest of the cabinet. May look like it in the video, but um, the cabinet doesn't match the actual um, the glass cabinet, which isn't related at all. Not part of the same furniture line or anything. <laughs> a little bit of a bit on the tongue there. Not bothered about that. We're pretty much at the end, I would probably say we're getting there. This is starting to loosen up a bit now. The actual wrapper has uh, sort of separated from the tobacco, even though the tobacco is still quite glued together. Tastes like spicy, generic Holland tobacco, you know. I would probably probably say it's the same you find in moments. It's um, it's not rich tobacco by any means, but it does burn spicy when you get towards the end. Generally, burns quite fast, although with shortcuts that tends to happen. It's okay for a machine made cigar, but I have actually seen a lot better. Uh, looks like this was just very, you know, very overworked machine, I would say. That was a firework. No. And now that dog won't shop, right? <clears throat> so I'm probably going to have to go after this, I'm probably going to have to go next door and all that dog out. So. <laughs> Not a bad scar, I believe I still have another one. I did smoke one before, but I had no idea what it's like. I don't remember scars that I smoked a week ago. I don't remember anything a week ago. I don't remember anything a day ago, actually. But, um, yeah. I'm not, ever I'm not sure if I ever showed anyone. I might show it in my very early videos, but I do actually have a possibly 9x12 inch painting there of a snake and it's very good it's very well done actually and um i was thinking of asking the artist to do another one of uh, something cigar related so that would be a nice thing to have on the wall while we're at the end of this i'll just quickly show you for the people who are probably believing this is the most gripping thing you've ever seen in your life but yeah, just uh, just don't mind me. 
just but uh, yeah you probably can't see it with the light let me just turn off the bright light thing and it makes no difference at all and neither does the focus but um yeah it's insanely good detail thing and I was probably gonna get a uh, I, I was going to get her to um, make me one with something scar related because, um, yeah, she doesn't charge that much, surprisingly. So I'll let you know how that one goes. These scars are definitely aimed at, um, I would say beginners, uh, straight up beginners, not just beginning anything, but just beginning scars in general. Or maybe more towards the novice. I would say that is completely gone, so uh, I'm just going to put that down. Definitely aimed more at the people who... I wouldn't say budget, because as I've been pointing out, they're £1.89 each, when these work out to about £1.41 or something each, and these are much better. And they're pretty much the same size as Scar, they're just better quality, better taste, better everything. But they're supposed to be giving beginners, I guess, a taste of proper Cuban Scars for later on. But I wouldn't really say that they are. I wouldn't say they match that aim at all. Um, that's really just what I've read, what sites tend to sell it as. It could be, you know, just a, a cheap single scar you could pick up. It's not bad. So far, I think £1.89 uh, each, you are really not getting your money worth. They're not the best quality. If you saw the wrapper at the beginning, the way I described that, it just wasn't too great. Taste-wise, you'd probably be better off with the Holland scar. I mean, every scar I've got right here, the uh, La Paz Wild cigars, those are two pounds, roughly the same price, but they are much better cigars. They're far superior in pretty much every way. They're bigger than Purios, and uh, stockier. They last a lot longer, and they do have a similar taste. Actually, they're um, as I said, these are uh, Holland tobacco. Then all the um, Dutch tobacco, the um, Henry Wintermist, Slim's Road, Dutch Elites, I, these are, every time I do a review I tend to just put the pack on my desk somewhere, maybe put it down there and then just forget about it. But um, I think there's a lot of better alternatives than that, it was £1.89 now. Still, I would say, if you were to do what I was doing and you just want to buy a single one, I bought three because I'll, you know, one I want every so often. I think if you just wanted to have a single one to throw in to mix things up, it would probably be okay. That's because you can buy them in singles. For these, I don't know. Seagars don't sell them in singles. Uh, yeah, so I would probably throw one into an order if you really want to try one. But I don't think it gives you a good taste of Cuban scars. I don't think it gives you any good quality for the money. And just don't think it's that good of value, so I'll probably have to give it quite a low rating. Numbers out of 10. Don't like to be harsh, but maybe around a four. I'm not saying it's completely awful. I mean, it's not going to make me sick having that. It's uh, I would happily smoke that slowly, maybe over like um, maybe sit down at night, twenty minutes, pick one of those up. I'd happily just smoke it as a scar. But when you're considering value, what you could get is better. No. So um, thanks for watching this video. As again, I'll be posting updates on my Facebook page again since I just saw that somehow and um, yes yeah, so go like my page I post a lot of stuff there that I don't post here I ask questions I ask what you want me to review actually um, yeah lots of things like that so uh, please go like that page thanks for watching this video and I hope you see you in the next probably gonna be a review not an update